the LA Rams. They're gonna have probably a very good season. But I know dang straight, if they had old boy Kurt Warner from The Greatest Show on Turf, they would have even a better season. So, that's what we're doing today, guys. We got Kurt Warner with Cooper Cuff, Puka Nakua, Kyron Williams, Blake Coran, Tutu Atwell, and the rest of the 2024 LA Rams, including Jared Verse. And we're going to see how the greatest show on turf quarterback, Kurt Warner, does. I'm not adding the rest of the unit. It's just the quarterback. We're just seeing if Kurt Warner can change around this squad and do better than Matthew Stafford. Because every time I do simulations with Stafford at quarterback, the Rams usually do pretty well. And they actually start off beating the Detroit Lions, ironically enough. So, nice way to start off the season uh, for Kurt right there. Now he plays the Arizona Cardinals with Kyler Murray. For some reason, the Cardinals are another team that really do good in these simulations. And, well, they absolutely demolished the Rams in that right there. Um, starting off the season, you got the Cardinals and the 49ers back-to-back. -back. Then you play the 0-3 Bears. And you beat the 0-3 Bears, but you got the 3-1 and Packers now. Okay. So, they win that game as well. So, a week six bye week? It's very early, but they are three and two in this franchise so far. So, eight touchdowns, five interceptions, 1,600 yards for Kurt Warner. He's not really going to have much mobile upside. He's not known for being a mobile quarterback, so not expecting much there. But, so far again, I mean... It was at Arizona. It does suck to lose in L.A. against the 49ers there. But you got two easy games coming out of your bye week. A uh, easier game with the Seahawks. Dolphins going to be tough. You got an easier game. I think the Rams' schedule, honestly, this year is pretty manageable. I'm not too scared when it comes to their schedule. I think their schedule, it, they can win a lot of games with their schedule. So... Let's just see what they can do for the rest of this season with their big boy, Kurt Warner, at quarterback. Um, obviously, when back when he was playing, it was the St. Louis Rams. But they lose to the Raiders. Now they play the 4-2 and two Vikings. Okay, I expected the Vikings to be a lot worse than 4-2, and two, to be honest. 4-4 four and four Seahawks in Seattle. They lose that game as well. Now the 3-5. and five. Now they play the Miami Dolphins. They lose that game as well. Man, what's up with these franchises and the teams I simulate having like really rough seasons? Even adding really good players to the squad like Kurt Warner. Still having a rough simulation year. Now they play the 5 and 6 Saints. Okay. I mean, again, just this team is losing nonstop. They play the Bills. They beat the Bills, but then they played 11 and 2 49ers in San Francisco. And they get the upset. Okay. Technically, they're not out of the playoff race yet. It's going to be tough because they did lose to the Saints head to head. And they do have three tough games left. But it's not technically out of it yet. They have to beat the Jets. It loses. Okay, never mind. They're pretty much out of it. You lose to the Jets, you're done. Then you lose to the Cardinals, and then you lose to the Seahawks. I'm just assuming they lose to the Seahawks, by the way. Yeah, they lost. 6-11, man, with Kurt Warner at quarterback? Ugh. These simulations recently have been absolutely disgusting. I mean, I, you gotta keep in mind that it is Madden simulations, I guess, in general. And most of the time, Madden simulations, not really the greatest. But still, though, I forgot Jimmy G is on the freaking Rams. I forgot about that. Anyway, they also got Seth and Bennett. They took a couple years ago in, like, the fourth or fifth round. I mean, 4,400 yards, 21 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. It's really not that bad of a year. I mean, it's not the greatest year for, for his first year back after not playing in, um, what's that number? Like, 14 years? 
It's actually really not that bad number wise. Um, Cooper Cup had a fantastic season. He almost had three receivers with a thousand yards, which is pretty dang good. Um, defensively, Jared Verse led the team, so rookie, really good rookie year for him. Six interception for Williams there. I mean, they had the ra eighth ranked offense. Their biggest problem was their defense, surprisingly enough. And I will say, with the schedule they have, I think it's manageable. They like they could be a very successful team with this schedule. But, I mean, you start off at Lions and then at Cardinals and then the 49. That's a tough three-game split. In real life, there's a chance they could solve the season 0-3. Uh, Bears, I think, is still going to be tough. It's in Chicago. Caleb Williams, early in the season, he's going to be lighting stuff up. Um, Packers, that's a tough game. I mean, yeah, no, the Rams, oh, man, I do not like their schedule at all. Um, I think they could be a very successful team, though. I'm very much thinking that they're going to be successful, but it's not going to be an easy, successful season. I expected them to go better than 6-11. With Stafford, I think this team, realistically speaking, is going to be a 9-8 team, I think. But, I, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a tough schedule, but they're a good team. I, I do have a lot of faith in them. I know they lost Aaron Donald uh, this offseason, and that sucks for them, and that's going to, you know, hold them back a tad bit. But I don't think it will hold them back too much, to be honest. I think they're still going to be a very successful team. And if the Jets beat the Cowboys, uh, you know automatically no. I love how Hassan Reddick, the guy that the Jets just traded for and also wants a new contract with them. They just trade for Hassan Reddick from the Eagles. He wants a new contract. He's not going to training camp. He's not going to anything. He's holding out. And in the end here, he ends up winning Super Bowl MVP for the Jets where they beat the Cowboys. So if this did happen in the end, I'm going to tell you right now, the Jets would look like the best trade you know, negotiators ever because you traded for a future Super Bowl MVP for yourself, which is amazing. Also, a little side note here. I think this is the first franchise I've simmed where um, Caleb Williams was not MVP. Rookie, oh, sorry, not MVP, sorry. Rookie of the year for offense. Uh, right there was Jonathan Brooks, actually. So what did he go in this franchise because... He's always rookie of the year on offense. He went 7 and 10. Okay. Not what I expected. Could usually, again, like I said, Madden goes crazy with Caleb Williams. And get ready for Madden 25 because they're going to go crazy with Madden 25, Caleb Williams as well. But tell me down below your thoughts, opinions, guys. I'll see you guys next one. Dude.